Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. It is Tuesday, June 25th, and let's see how well this one goes. I have been getting several, what I would consider excellent times for me, between about 10 and 15 minutes. I'll try and aim for that on today's video, too. I'll put a link in the description so you can play it yourself or solve with me or without me, whatever suits your fancy. I am doing this without a numeric keypad, and my right hand, as you can see, turns over all the way. My left hand, as you can see, does not. I was born three months premature and cannot turn my left hand over all the way. So I'm essentially doing this one-handed, therefore my data entry might be slow at times. So I consider 10 to 15 minutes an excellent time given my physical limitations that I'm overcoming by solving these puzzles. And let's see how it goes, shall we? So in the top three rows, I've got seven, five, one, two, nine, three, four, eight, appearing once each. I have no repeats. In the middle three rows, I have a seven that I can put in and no other repeats. In the bottom rows, I get a one that is actually placed in box eight because I have three other ones looking into it, ruling out all of the other options not to mention the three given digits already. Now, these two ones are going to force a one in there. This already could have been one because of that one in row two. Now, that's it for the bottom three rows. If I go by columns, I have an eight in two and three, which combined with the eight in row seven ruling this column one spot out, will place an eight in box seven right there. And now those two eights are going to force an eight, one of those two spots, in row not eight, not nine. Um, I've got one, two, one, so one is here. Those two are ruled out, so that's a one. No. These two are ruled out, so one of those is a one. I meant to put it in box four and not seven. It's these two. In the middle columns... I can place a 2 right there in 5 based on 4 and 6. These two ones have already been dealt with. Those two 7s and this one are going to force a 7 there in column 5. And on the right, I have 3s ending there. These fives are going to force it here, not there, so one of those two. These threes have already been dealt with, so I think we're done. Okay. So when I look for other easy digits, like four can't go here, but there's still three spots for it in box eight. Seven and one are already in the box. So I can't do anything special with that. Five only rules out this cell and that one. So I can't do anything in box eight, the looks of this. No, I don't even have six looking in, other than one of those two. Let's see, that one looks quite restricted based on four digits in its row. Only two of them agreeing with this sequence of four digits. So I have one, two, three, four, seven, nine. This is one is down to five, six, or eight only. And one, two, four, seven in column six means I need some combination of three, five, six, eight, nine. That one can be anything but five. Same with this one. This can't be six or eight, eight or nine. Three, five is, no, five is not obvious, but it could be six, it can't be eight. This one still could be nine. I have nothing useful coming out of it. Let's see, these ones can't be one, two, seven, eight, or nine. They are strictly three, four, five, and six, and in fact, 
neither are six, that's not five. And they couldn't be one, two, seven, eight, and both C9 in the row. So this would be a tr Yeah, they see one, two, and six and nine, along with seven and eight. So three, four, five, that's actually a triple. This can't be three, therefore I know where three goes in box nine. And now this one can't be three. This ends up as six or nine, unfortunately, with nothing else looking at it. But... I now have six digits in row eight. The digits missing are two, seven, and eight. I don't think this is immediately resolved. It isn't. This 3, 4 looks interesting. The rest of column 5 cannot be 1, 5, 8, so 2, 4, 7, 3, 6, 9 are what I'm left with, and those can't be 2 or 4 by box logic, and then I clean up the rows. This can't be 3, 4, or 7. Yeah. That one strictly can't be 3, 4, 7 by row. This one only sees... 6 and 7 by the row. So I have nothing useful coming out of that one. Ah, these can't be 2 or 7. Okay, none of these are 5. Clean up the rest. Six nine six eight nine possible triple, but unfortunately, since one can still appear in both of those slots, I have nothing useful coming out of it. So the middle columns are done. I don't get anything out of it. Let's see. Three, four... Three, five, nine, explicitly. These can't be four or eight. Okay, neither of those could be six or seven either, and that one also sees one and two in its row. Let's see, those two can't be three, five, six, seven. Yep, filling out column nine has yielded nothing useful. Okay, the rest of box six cannot be three, four, seven. Both of those cannot be 1, 6, or 8. That one sees 5 and 9. That's actually a 2. It can't be anything else. So 1, 2, 5, and 9 are ruled out here. 2 is ruled out there. None of those are 2, and this isn't 5, and that's not 2. Continuing to clean up. The 2 in row 6 places the 2 in row 5. means one of those three must be two. Oh, this one isn't. Column seven is left as six, seven, eight as a triple. I can't do much with it. Okay, these can't be one, three, five, or six, and that's it for the rightmost three columns. All right, neither are eight. The other ones I can't do anything with. Okay, those are from 2, 4, 6, and 9 to finish row 9. Since they can't be 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, but neither can be 9. 
one, two, eight. Okay, these can't be one, two, eight, or nine. And row seven is complete. Let's see, the only thing I can get rid of in column three is an eight. Let me clean this up. These can't be one, these can't be seven. Those can't be one, seven, or eight. Those can't be seven, and this can't be seven, and that can't be seven. Seven in row two is hidden. That's moderately helpful. That forces it in one of two spaces in row three, which we semi knew already. Okay, these things are left, and they can't be six or eight. So I have two, four from the evens, and then all the odd digits. Okay, this one can't be, oh, also sees a 1 in its column, so it can't be 2, 3, or 4 either. And it can't be 5, 7, or 9. It can't be anything else but 5. So, 9 is placed, 1 is placed. Row 5, just like that, is reduced to a 6, 8. These aren't nine, that's not five. This isn't one, not five, seven, or nine. Not one, or five, or nine. And that's not five, and now, having filled everything out, and we are 11 minutes in, so I'm not gonna finish quite as fast as I did yesterday. And now I need to look for interplays within boxes, such as, I've got a six, eight here. So neither of these can be 6 or 8, because I have the 6, 8 pair in row 4. 1, 9 reduces the 5 in box 6 that does not immediately do anything else. Because it completes the 5s in the middle rows and the rightmost 3 columns. Column 9 is a little irritating because I've got four of the five slots filled with pairs of digits. But, okay. Uh, not, those two nines force a nine and one of those two, and this can't be nine because of that nine in row two. So, nine in row one is actually a hidden single, and therefore these aren't nine. One, two, four, three, six, and eight are all in too many spots in row one. Let's see, the one nine also works across row four. That's not nine. That's not nine. Two, seven, or two of those three spots, and the remainder turn into three, four. Hmm. But that doesn't help me anything, or rather, in anything right off the bat. This 5, 6 here makes row 2 a little annoying. The 
And I think my rows were probably done. Let me look my boxes now. Four is still in three spots. Yeah, nine here doesn't tell us anything. Hmm. Okay, there's something I'm missing, and I don't like having to potentially go to bifurcation this early, but I don't see much of anything else I can do, unless I miss something by columns. Yeah, I did. Where does 9 go in column 6? It can't go here? By those two 9s. Here, by this derived 9. Or here, by that given. So 9 in column 6 is actually hidden. So that should do a lot of work. Because the 6 is now placed in row 7, which will place the 8 in column 4 and... That's six. Those two are not in column eight. This is an eight. Therefore, that's seven. Two, eight. This isn't seven. I have a four nine pair in row seven, which resolves that as a three, and those not to be three. And neither can be four either because of the four six pair I just discovered in row nine. The seven in column seven places the six in the row two's not there three's not there this can't be three because of the three in column two so that's two that place is four three seven three six here's another four nine this time in row six but this is three six eight in column four it's a one these aren't six. This can't be one. These aren't two. This can only be a two. That's one. That's seven. These aren't one. Box three has a two, four, eight triple, which I won't bother filling out because at this point, I found the break-in, and we're just filling in digits as fast as we realistically can. Uh, five, which places nine in box two. Box two has a weird way of resolving itself, but we're done now, and I hope you enjoyed the puzzle. 18 minutes. Okay, not quite the speed run I was hoping for. This ended up being more of a marathon than a sprint, but I got there. And let me know in the comments how well you did.